Alright, I managed to find my way back into the tunnels here. As you can see, the save point is just to the south of me. And since we haven't explored this top path, I decided, why don't we do that now? And see if that's gonna take us to the end. One thing I wanted to note on my way here was that... Confusion from the moths, they really suck. Because that's... I've been losing so much money from my party members just dropping money. And you can't even pass your turn when you're confused. So there's no point clicking pass, because there's a chance that he's going to drop all his money anyways. Okay, we have a ladder to go back up. Interesting. Um, one thing I did off screen in between episodes was I fused away the Mitama with Saru Tahiko and just gave him better stats. I think he got three more vitality for than that and also trade and analyze, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, the biggest reason why I did that was so I could open up a slot and get new demons if I run into them, like the Nua here. I'm at this point in... I'm at a weird point in my like demon lineup where I have a lot of demons but there isn't anything I can really make yet until the next level. So that kind of sucks. Because when I get to 37, then I can make the Daisojo, which is something I really would like to make. So I can't use some of my demons if I want to make him. And I gotta save up for that. Oh! Well. <laughs> okay, we got level 37, but I'm not gonna go back now. Uh, life aid heals HP moderately after every battle. Holy cow. Life bonus is really good though. 10% of my max. So let's say I have 300. That's like 30 HP. So I can't give that up. Um, I guess I'll get rid of Might, because Life Aid does give me some pretty good sustain. Yeah. And I've only seen Might proc like once or twice, even though I always physically attack. So having that Life Aid could save me a lot of SP. Um, why don't we equip... Kifumi here. Weak to fire. Everything's weak to fire. Yeah, let's equip the Hifumi and try to finish that off. But that life aid is gonna make it so I get more heals from Principality at least. 4x Mantra Oni here. Yeah. Okay. So. Only if I defeat the other three is the last one going to come out. I heard they're pretty tough, and I don't have to kill them, but I will be fighting them. Um, it depends when, though. I could be fighting them now, I could be fighting them later, after I come back into this area. But I will eventually fight them. Just like I will eventually fight all the fiends. Got a save point here. Another one. I'll check the other paths later because just because there's a save point doesn't mean it's the end. I figure that out now. Because this game actually do is very kind with the save points. Usually you only get like one or two in a dungeon, one at the beginning and then one right before the boss. But this game seems to be pretty nice about it. We are at the stone cave. Ah. Okay. 
So can I go through or? No, I can't. I guess I'm gonna have to turn some switches, perhaps? Or go through from this side. It won't open from this side. It could be that this is... Hold on. Oh. This might be the end of the subway. So this room could be where the boss leader is, isn't it? So once I defeat all the other Onis, I could come back here and fight the boss. Do I want to look around still, or do I want to continue forward? I guess we should look around, because we don't know when we'll be back in the tunnels. I know we've spent quite a few episodes here already, but I think it would be a bad idea to skip out on all the demons if I could fight them now. Okay. I think we're starting to do... We're starting to be able to handle this dungeon a lot better. Just because we finally have the levels to do so. Okay, it didn't let me use Lytoma earlier. Yeah, let's just check out the rest of the doors in this corridor, and then if I can't find the Onis, then we'll leave. But I feel like they should be around here somewhere. Like, if I just walk forward, I'll fall into a hole there, and then that's the first Oni. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm about to run into an Oni, so I'm gonna go take a look at my party, change it up a bit, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I used a chakra pot on K to get a bit more MP back in case I need it for a second fog breath. And another change I did was I switched to the anathema to null death. Um, I'm kind of assuming this guy might be using physical, so... Maybe that wasn't the best idea, but why don't I talk to Sarita Hiko here? I date his... really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't want to use too much resources to kill these guys. get through this without using shock because I need my MP. There we go. And heal up. Okay. Is he not here? Ooh. We were very lucky that the the moon was full. I guess what I could do is use the new spell that Dis has to give K some more MP later. Wow, 
Wow. He panicked three of us. Okay. Where's this demon? Should be here. Ah, here he is. Let's see. He has a sword. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch to physical de resistance. And I might actually bring in the black ooze then. Because he resists physical. And then this can give me a little bit of Makatora. Hello, Sweeky. Oh. Do you mind if I uh back out for a second? No way. Oh no. He's a cold demon. I should have equipped my asthma. Okay. Sweaky, sweaky, sweaky. I should use fire on you. First, let's raise our defenses. Of course, he has B Psy. Only two turns, though, so not too bad. And he used physical, just as I expected. One more of that. Not too much damage there. Let's pass here and heal up. Oh, he crit me. Okay. No, I'm not doing any damage to this. I need the Sukukaja though. Okay, we're able to dodge most of his stuff. Now, so honestly, until he shows something more deadly, I think we can just kind of stay with what we're doing now. Let's heal Sarta Hiko again. Again, I don't have anyone that resists ice. So that's not going to help. Okay, nice. That should be the last one. Okay, I think I can start attacking now. I'm gonna try using fire. Black Ooze almost died there. Okay, let's see how well Miragi is gonna do here. Cause if it's, it, yeah, it's a weakness, so I can bring in this and uh, What's her name? Shikome. For some fire damage in a bit.
or I might just stay this way and I'll bring them in if one of my guys die. Because the Black Ooze might die. Or Saruta Higo could die. Actually, yeah, let's bring in the disc now. So she can heal us up too. And then I'll pass my turn here. I'll let this heal me. I'll pass my turn here. I'll heal up the black ooze. Pass my turn here. Get an Aguilau. Kill him up, pass here, get an Aguila first. Attack. Life Stone, pass. Another Aguila. Okay, looks like he's about to enrage. And now he gets four turns. Yeah. My fog breath isn't helping enough. Okay, I need to do damage to him because I need I can't survive if he's going to keep dragons eyeing. Oh, that was dumb. Crap. I wasted a turn there. Please dodge. Thank you. Good, good. I needed this alive. And I'm just using Mighty Gus to do as much damage as I can. Doesn't seem to be helping, but... Oh, good job, good job. Damn. Okay, I have another fire user, so let's bring in Shikome. As long as I live, we'll be okay. Komoku's probably gonna die. Or he could dodge it, nice. What? You can't do that? No. That is so dumb. That is so unfair. Wow. Okay, so we know now that Suiki is a cheat. Oh, what? So this time, I equipped the Miasma, so his ice is doing nothing to me. And we're gonna start with this in our party as well. 
so we can get some free turns on him. Wow. Dragon's Eye into Beast Eye. That is new. See, I didn't expect that would work because when I get a crit and my thing is like glowing, I get that half turn, I can't crit again and get another extra turn. I have to... Like, I waste the turn otherwise. So you can't pass twice in a row if you're already full on extra turns. So I did not expect him to be able to do that. Even if I did expect him to be able to do that, it's not like I would have been able to stop it. So I don't know. That's pretty insane though. Since this guy can use it, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see that a lot now. And I'm kind of dreading that. A lot. It's good that this is starting off now because now she actually gets the Sukukaja. And I'm pretty sure when I switched her in, she didn't have the benefit of that. Apparently it doesn't help either way. So that's just fantastic. Okay, let's bring in the... You know what, let's go for the more aggressive approach. I was so lucky I dodged like two of them, otherwise those crits would have killed me. I used focus, right? Nice, nice, nice. If I could just focus him down before he enrages... Actually, I have Tarunda on Shikome. I should use that. Alright, let's just survive one turn. Nice, nice. Okay, he loses his turn. Let's heal up the disc. Komoku does more damage the lower his health is, so that's good. I really just want to finish him, so I'm not going to use Tarunda. Ah, uh, got a crit there, that would have been nice. Okay, now I'll heal up Komoku. There we go. Ah, one down. Anti-death, nice. Okay, does he drop anything or... No. Okay, well, we've defeated Sweeky, the first of the four demons. Whether we'll be able to defeat all four of them in this run, I don't know. I mean, like, in this... In the time that I'm in the tunnels.
because I will be defeating all of them in this run. But what I will do off screen is I'm gonna go back and save, of course. And and then we'll move on and see if we can challenge the next one as well. But first, let's see if I can talk to this guy. No. He's a wilder, that's why. Yeah, I'm gonna save, maybe heal up in between episodes, and then we'll try to fight the second one. And maybe even the third one. But until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!